Earthbed. Greetings, science enthusiasts! Welcome back to EarthPen. Today, we're diving into the intriguing world of metals and exploring the fascinating differences between reactive and non-reactive metals. Join me as we uncover the mysteries of these elemental giants. Introduction to metals, let's begin with the basics. Metals are a diverse group of elements known for their conductivity, luster, and malleability. They make up a significant portion of the periodic table. Reactivity of metals. Metals can be broadly classified into two categories, reactive and non-reactive. Reactive metals are those that readily undergo chemical reactions, often with substances like oxygen or acids. Examples of reactive metals. Some examples of reactive metals include potassium, sodium, calcium, and magnesium. These metals can be highly reactive, sometimes even catching fire when exposed to air or water. Oxidation of reactive metals. Reactive metals tend to oxidize or corrode when exposed to oxygen. This process forms metal oxides, which can be seen as rust or tarnish on the surface. Non-reactive metals. On the other hand, non-reactive metals, also known as noble metals, are much less prone to chemical reactions. They maintain their luster and stability even in challenging environments. Examples of non-reactive metals. Some notable non-reactive metals include gold, silver, platinum, and palladium. These metals are valued for their beauty, conductivity, and resistance to corrosion. Noble gases. It's worth mentioning that the noble gases like helium, neon, and argon are also non-reactive elements. They are famously unreactive due to their stable electron configurations. Practical applications. Both reactive and non-reactive metals find essential applications in various industries. Reactive metals are used in batteries, while non-reactive metals are prized in jewelry and electronics. Balancing Act. Understanding the reactivity of metals is crucial for metallurgists and chemists who work with these elements, as it helps them choose the right materials for specific applications. In conclusion, the world of metals is a diverse and captivating one. With some metals eager to react and others standing as stoic sentinels against chemical change. Thanks for joining us today on Earth Pen. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts or questions about reactive and non-reactive metals in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of the periodic table and the marvels of science. Once again, this is Earth Pen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere.